thank you so i'll start by introducing myself my name is prashant and as uh, uh, dr swambon has said that uh, i am currently a research scholar at iit kanpur and uh, my work mainly focuses on how to effectively manage parking spaces which are uh, 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 basically public owned and uh, uh, we are mainly focusing on low and mid income countries uh, so uh, in this presentation i'm uh, i'll be talking about uh, uh, my work uh, what are our proposals uh, in which direction we are moving and i'll be happy if i could get a feedback on uh, uh, how we are approaching this uh, problem so this is the basic motivation for my presentation so as we can uh, starting with this image here which i have put on the main page this is a typical situation of a low and mid income country uh, on street uh, even though we have a good uh, wide road network here in this particular image but we can see that the traffic uh, situation is very bad uh, mainly owing to an on street parking and um, parking by vehicles uh, in the portion of the street which is not legalized for parking so uh, this kind of foretells what Uh, challenges we will be going to face uh, in upcoming uh, in our work because um, uh, in these kind of countries the infrastructure is uh, not uh, adequate and the people are not accustomed to following the rules and regulations and the policies are outdated and such sort of challenges are uh, widely seen in, uh, in these uh, scenarios so uh, trying to simulate this uh, scenario is a difficult task and uh, uh, i'll be trying to explain why we have chosen sumo for this purpose and what are the challenges which we are facing so um, as uh, and this is evident that uh, as the number of vehicles which is uh, increases so the parking demand also increases uh, and we can see that uh, this is the data for uh, india and in past 15 years uh, the number of vehicles has almost quadrupled so this increases the parking demand and in the absence of proper infrastructure and policies we see that we face a lot of problem uh, it uh, in uh, literature we, uh, it has been stated by various authors that uh, up to 30% of the tra traffic can be found for cruising uh, for a parking space and uh, this kind of uh, situation uh, creates congestion on roads it uh, uh, makes the traffic flow uh, it reduces the traffic flow and, uh, and um uh, and uh, the tourism is also uh, less due to the fact that uh, people do not find comfortable to be cruising around for parking spaces and hence they tend to visit less this increases the frustration among uh, drivers and leads to wastes of the uh, resources of uh, city uh, uh so uh, for parking studies we need parking data uh, which is the case for any other studies we need a lot of data for making the studies and similar is the case in our parking that uh, we need a parking data like we need static parking data which includes inventory of parking spaces uh, all the legal parking spaces where we, uh, vehicles can be parked their location and their capacity we also require dynamic uh, data such as parking demand what is the parking volume uh, uh, at that particular place uh, and at particular time what is the average duration Uh, at that place uh, we also uh, need data regarding the parking behavior uh, such as what is the parking occupancy of particular parking space or parking lot and what is the parking turnover at that particular place uh, regarding low and mid income countries this data is not available and in the cases where it is available it's not reliable uh, due to uh, the fact that most of the development is very fast and unplanned uh, and uh, uh, it creates inadequate and inefficient parking infrastructure retrieving information from such infrastructure is a difficult task uh, as these are the two uh, uh, sorts from our uh, test network which uh, we have made in a previous study that uh, on the right hand side we see a parking lot which is off street parking but we can see the infrastructure is not adequate the markings are present in some cases and it is absent in some cases and even though the markings which are present they are not proper they can uh, they are temporary kind of temporary and there is no uh, guidelines or policies at that particular parking space uh, which a uh, driver has to follow in the bottom we can see that uh, even though it's an on street uh, uh, parking but we have the mark markings missing from here and people tend to use the parking spaces which are uh, not marked and are not legalized they, they are using up a portion of road for their parking and it's been you it's been being used heavily not like one or two drivers so uh, this kind of infrastructure and uh, behavior of people uh, creates an unavailability of uh, reliable parking data uh, in 
such a, a case it was proposed that we can use a simulation based approach so that we can create a some kind of parking data for us which uh, matches with the the real life data and can then be used to make more parking studies um, so there has been simulation for parking in, in literature before this and uh, um, i'll be briefly discussing it uh, so the most of the literature has used uh, vsim for their uh, simulation but uh, vsim is a commercial software and uh, we do not know what's going on behind it so it it's uh, it is not a preferred uh, uh, option for us uh, secondly we uh, simpag was another uh, uh, simulator for parking specifically and uh, it had a lot of uh, uh, good options for us and we are currently in uh, talks with this author but uh, as is the case with other uh, parking uh, uh, simulators which i'll be uh, discussing further it uh, it is not freely available to us uh, uh, we have sasta park also but uh, sasta park is mainly focused on the traffic effects of parking not on uh, the behavior of parking policies or uh, such sort of thing uh, we have park agent which is a gis based uh, simulator but still uh, it, it it has its own benefits and drawbacks uh, such as uh, the uh, park agent uh, does not uh, take into account uh, the vehicle structure of uh, individual vehicles so uh, uh, we have uh, and we know that in a low and mid income uh, country the traffic diversity is too uh, wide so uh, it becomes an important factor in our uh, study similarly we have matsim which is uh, based on uh, matlab uh, and uh, it is also uh, uh, explicit uh, parking simulator but all these uh, simulator uh, simulators are uh, and they are majorly focusing on uh, first of first a developed uh, uh, road network and second they majorly focus on a single parking problem and hence cannot be used for a, a comprehensive uh, study um, other simulator uh, simulator which have been used by some authors are sumo and pleasing so we are focusing on uh, sumo uh, which i'll talk about in upcoming slides uh, but the main challenges which i would like to uh, identify in this particular site uh, while simulating the parking spaces in low income countries is that majority of them are unmarked uh, owing to the fact that uh, the de uh, development uh, in these uh, cities are not planned uh, as i have discussed earlier also and we can see in this image also that most of the infrastructure is uh, rapidly developed and uh, do not have that uh, planned sort of thing that uh, why we are creating a, a particular parking space and uh, what policies should be used the parking infrastructure is also inadequate as can be seen in this image that even though it's an off-street parking lot but the way the vehicles are parked and the way uh, it is being used does not uh, provide us with um, relevant data which can be used for further studies uh, apart from uh, the obvious uh, drawbacks of the convenience of driver and uh, uses of this space uh, we also do not have accurate and complete markings of all the parking spaces which are uh, legal and the rules and policies are outdated and their implementation is even worse uh, then we have traffic large traffic diversity in our uh, uh, cities which uh, includes uh, four wheelers three wheelers two wheelers hand driven carts and all such sort of thing which we can see in this image that we have a hand driven cart we have uh, three wheelers we have four wheelers and also and this different traffic diversity creates challenges in simulating it in an environment mm -hmm. also the parking behavior of the people which do not tend to follow the uh, rules is very difficult to uh, simulate so why we are majorly focusing on sumo uh, even though it's not an explicit parking simulator it's because uh, it is freely available first of all uh, so uh, uh, and it is an open source software so it creates a very good uh, option for researcher to work on it uh, and the major point is that it's uh, it is very its use is very flexible uh, through uh, use of various apis such as uh, track i and um, such sort of thing so it's very flexible we can uh, even though the uh, default settings of sumo are not uh, catering to a parking but uh, by use of other uh, apis we can uh, use it for making uh, for simulating parking uh, situations mm -hmm. so uh, i'll briefly talk about how parking uh, we are doing parking in the sim uh, sumo uh, we, uh, as sumo requires a road network uh, which can be uh, created using netedit net convert or osm web wizard since we are uh, basically trying to convert from a uh, real life test area so uh, we use an uh, osm web wizard for that same purpose uh, and 
then we require some parking data such as inventory of parking which includes uh, all the parking spaces which we have uh, and uh, then we need to have a parking demand uh, which uh, we can uh, so that we can create a simulation but uh, these requirements uh, are the major challenges which we face uh, as i'll be discussing so since we do not major majority of the parking spaces in uh, low and mid income countries are unmarked there are no markings so Make, uh, simulating them in sumo creates a problem uh, because uh, how do we represent an unmarked parking spaces uh, space in a simulation environment uh, secondly we in the enablability of data uh, that includes the parking demand data and uh, inventory data it creates a lot of problem then there is the problem of manually marking all the parking spaces on the sumo since uh, currently sumo do not have an option to import parking uh, location as um, is being done for road network uh, then misrepresentation due to incomplete data uh, as has been shown in this uh, image that uh, this is a parking lot uh, and the, along with parking lot it is also being used as a street by the users uh, as is the case in most of the low and mid income countries but it is also unique to these cities so this representation in osm uh, is not correct uh, as uh, uh, relating to the real life situation and hence we are unable to create a parking lot here so we have to make some assumptions and some workarounds to represent this thing in the uh, in sumo but those assumption and workaround then uh, deviates our result from the actual result which we could have seen then uh, there is a difference in road infrastructure as uh, 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 there are some kind of there are road types which are very prevalent in uh, these countries but cannot be represented in uh, either osm or uh, sumo uh, then uh, the parking behavior of the vehicles as uh, uh, we can see in this in screenshot that uh, even though the size of parking can accommodate two vehicles but since we have uh, assigned a capacity of one to this particular parking space the vehicles are not using it uh, which is not the case in a real life because uh, in such sort of way people tend to be opportunistic and if they can find even a small gap for to fit their vehicle they'll generally do it uh, this uh, 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 rigid behavior of uh, the parking uh, spaces in the sumo creates an hindrance secondly as we can see we have created a small parking space which is uh, which can accommodate a uh, two wheeler but even though even then it's not using it uh, given it's empty because uh, it's stuck in the traffic even though it can go around it but it's not uh, going so these kind of rigid behaviors uh, and absence of dynamic nature of parking is another challenge we are facing in uh, sumo so the assumption which we have made till now uh, while trying to simulate our uh, test area was that we have used a lot of empirical data uh, given that we had uh, very less data to work on so we were using the our knowledge of test uh, area to assume few thing and create some empirical data about the parking demand mainly and parking inventory uh, secondly uh, we are assuming that uh, uh, some of the unmarked parking spaces which are frequently used we have assumed them as marked parking spaces to represent them in sumo uh, we are also adding some additional lanes in the road network so that uh, on street parking does not block the uh, flow of traffic in sumo uh, and uh, currently we are heavily using track eye for uh, uh, removing the rigid behavior of simulated vehicles uh, introducing uh, rerouting among the parking spaces and uh, introducing a uh, cruising speed of the vehicle so as um, um, in real life uh, while cruising for parking speed vehicles uh, tend to cruise at a lower speed than the normal traffic and then uh, we also try uh, we are also managing parking demand through track to mimic real life scenarios like uh, uh, if we want to multiple peaks for uh, parking demand in uh, our situation and uh, we are mainly obtaining our parking occupancy data through track for all the individual uh, vehicles in case we want to uh, uh, work on the uh, parking occupancy data so uh, the results which we have uh, recently we published uh, a con we, in a conference uh, regarding the simulated based approach for unregulated parking areas and in that we use sumo to uh, generate some results uh, i'll be showing them here like uh, we were able to obtain travel time uh, for the vehicles uh, and um, we created two different parking demands one was the uniform demand and then we had uh, 
a bimodal Gaussian demand for the parking in which it be twice daily, uh, uh, trying to simulate uh, office hours. And uh, in that, we can see that uh, uh, the travel time of the vehicles increased uh, with the increase in parking demand because the vehicles were then cruising around for uh, to find an uh, empty parking space. Uh, uh, similarly, on the basis of this, we can see that uh, the average speed of the network went down each time the parking demand uh, went up. So uh, in the morning during the office hours, the average speed of the network went down and uh, then uh, in the evening when the office goers were leaving, then the uh, average speed of the network went down. Also, uh, we were able to obtain uh, parking occupancy data for each of the parking spaces, uh, like uh, how much of the time was a particular parking space empty and occupied. Uh, as we can see in bimodal Gaussian distribution, we found out that uh, the particular parking space was not uh, as much utilized as it, had, it was unoccupied for a major portion of time. So these kind of parking data, which we were able to generate from Sumo, helped us in uh, obtaining different uh, insights regarding the parking uh, uh, behavior in the city and parking demand of, of our test network. Uh, so in conclusion, I would like to say that uh, even though uh, it has its own uh, challenges and uh, in SOMO uh, while simulating the parking space, but we were able to analyze the parking condition visually as well as uh, quantitatively. Uh, however, uh, model validation was a major challenge as we do not have a parking data for, for, from which to validate the results of our uh, simulation. Some limitations were overcome by using uh, various uh, APIs and assumptions, but still uh, we had a lot of challenges which we'll be uh, trying to solve in future work. And uh, we are trying to overcome those challenges uh, in our future work. Overall, uh, Sumo provides uh, provided us with major opportunities to study the parking through simulation, which uh, currently we are not able to do with other dedicated parking uh, softwares. Um, so I'll like to end my talk here and uh, would request for some major feedback, how we can move forward with our uh, thesis. Thank you.